What's up, everybody? I have a very exciting announcement to make. Do you guys know Gingerbread Producer? He is one of the hottest producers right now. He has written for Espa, Unhappy, E.T., None of My Business, Ooh, one of my favorite, Kang Daniel, The Boys, and even Nyan that was dropped last month, Butterflies. We are releasing a Gingerbread Cookies Pack. It's a sample pack that contains 85 sounds from those hits that I just mentioned. And you also have 54 serum pack and it also has 155 sounds from one shot and loops for drums especially and bass. We're doing a special sale for the first five days as we release this pack, which is going to be on August 16th, 5 p.m. PST. And if you get it in within those five days, it's going to be a lot of discounts. So check it out and make your move quickly before you run out of time. We have taught so many masterclasses through Gingerbread Producer and every time he teaches every student is mind blown because of his sound. As you guys know, in K-pop, sounds are so important. And that's why we are releasing this pack to really enhance every K-pop producer's sound. And I personally use some of these sounds. And I'm telling you, they're really good, high-quality sounds that you can use right now for year 2024, 2025. Because he is a very modern-sounding, cutting-edge-sounding producer. This has never been done before when we actually stemmed out the songs that have been released in the market. Some of those sounds that you hear from the radio, from Spotify, from the groups that you love the most, these sounds are going to be there. And I am so excited that the proven sound proven stems are going to be in your DAW and here is a video of gingerbread producing his own song from scratch with the sounds that are going to be in this pack so here we go check out this little tutorial by gingerbread producer himself let me open up my pack here we'll start with some keys nice and warm. I think let's start with this one. This one I got immediate inspiration from. Let's mess. Let's see what this format does. Yep, that'll be nice to modulate the sound over time with. And you know what? I think I want to do kind of like a plucky kind of um, synth. So you know what? I'm gonna take off the reverb, make it nice and dry, just really in your face, and then maybe I'll decrease the decay a little bit. Yeah, kind of like that. Maybe maybe we start there. Let's make some chords out of that. So let's do the same rhythm, change the chords in the second half. Mmm, yeah. that's kind of cool. Little turnaround here. So let's hear this full loop here. So let's uh let's leave that there. See if we can get any other inspiration. Let's go through some of these sounds. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. Let's uh let's mess around. I think I just like that ending. That's kind of interesting. Let's keep that there. Let's keep seeing what we can get out of serum. Let's see what these pads do. That's kind of nice. Could be good for a pre-chorus. This could be good as like maybe little stabs. Maybe we just have the first note do the first note of each chord change. Cool. Let's increase the attack a little bit so it comes in right away. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Maybe up the octave. Cool sound design things going on with that. Okay, we're off to a great start. Let's see if we can get anything bass wise. It's like an 808, maybe not. Oh yeah, like a Reese kind of. Let's just put down the root notes here. Let's go to here. Mm. 
Cool. See if there's any cool knobs here to play with. Ooh. Let's try raising the key a little. Maybe it's a little bit low for this bass. Let's go up three semitones. One, two, three. Cool. Let's start uh, messing around with some drums. And I feel like this is where the pack really, really shines. Let's grab a hat here, one of the more basic ones. Like that, I think, I think that's a great one. Um, let's try the Miami bass feel. I think we're gonna get some, some sauce out of that, so. Yeah. Maybe a little lower. Let's see if we want any of these interesting ones. This is kind of cool. It's almost like an open hat, you know, because it has that interesting tail. Let's see what that does right on the downbeat. Oh yeah, I love that. Yeah, let's leave it at that. Let's see how that sounds in context. Oh yeah. No. Let's move on to the next sound here. So let's go to the snare. I'm looking kind of for a specific hip hoppy kind of Miami bass snare. Yeah, so this first one would kind of be like your big, like, you know, Espa choreography focused, you know, hard hitting snare. That's, yeah, it's a crazy one. Kind of an organic one. That's a tonal snare. Who's that one? Yeah. These are so great. Got me wanting to switch genres all of a sudden. But anyway, let's, um, let's keep it focused. Let's finish this track yeah maybe we do like a little snare roll or something like this i'm making like a snare fill here yeah this is great yeah let's get a kick in there that'll give me a chance to uh show you guys some of the kicks too i think i want one with a bit of high end yeah like that like kind of a future bassy that's probably the one. Let's, uh, let's start making a groove here. Cool. Um, let's hit the 808. I think I want this like softer one. Okay, so let's let's make a pattern. Yeah, maybe maybe something like that. Let's see. So let's do some transposing. Let's do some pitch bending here. I think I definitely want this one to so we'll do a pitch decay. Yeah, I think that'll work for now. Does the job. Now let's get to the second half here, the ending of the second half, where maybe we want to use an 808 fill. Maybe we want to use it for both. Um, I think this one was the one I was. Cool. Yeah. Let's try to figure something out with that. Yeah, that's kind of an interesting... Let's try the other... Yeah. Yep, I'm glad we made that. Now I'm getting an idea. I'm just gonna duplicate this serum right here. Because maybe a low octave for the verse would be cool. Depending on if the key is high enough that it doesn't get too muddy down there. Maybe we raise the key if that's the case. No. That's great. Maybe it's filtered in the verse. Yep, that sounds pretty versy to me. Let's try it without the plugs. Does that sound like a hook? That, that kind of does. Yeah, maybe like a kind of talky kind of hook. I think that, that minimal kind of thing. Yeah, and then when it, when it does this fill, it'll, the chords will come back in. Yeah, let's get the drums to continue there. Maybe like a big crash or something like that. Let's duplicate all this stuff, so. Yeah, that sounds like a post took to me. Let's move on to the pre. I think what we do is we do a slight chord change. Let's load up a new sound. Let's see if that's the ticket. Let's see if there's like a smoother kind of key. That might be it. Let's go with that for now. I think that kind of does the job. So. I 
at this point, I would say like we definitely are well past like it being to a writable point. You know, if I had a writer in the room, they should have no problem writing over this um, by now. But anyway, you get the idea. There's lots of great things in this pack. It's gonna set you up to be inspired like right off the bat and um, end up with just great tracks that sound good really fast, you know, cause that's, that's really the goal here. So anyway, um, I hope you guys get as much value out of this that I've been getting personally. Cause this is like the only pack I've been using for the past few weeks that I've made this. This is the second time I'm recording this video because yesterday when I recorded this video, the track I made actually got used by the boys. So, you know, this pack is really great um, for K-pop and um, will definitely set you guys up for success. And yeah, I can't wait to hear what you guys make with it. I'm, I'm really excited to hear. Anyway, I'm logging off. See you guys.